So you have found the perfect gaming mouse with the perfect shape just for you, but there is still something wrong about it. Whether the mouse is too slippery, it doesn't glide properly on your mouse pad, or the cable is too stiff. Here's how you can make it better. For me, the x 5 M42 has an insanely good shape, but the most annoying thing about it is the cable. Usually, the stock cables of wired mice are somewhat stiff and heavy since the companies need to ensure the rigidness of their products and adhere to different USB regulations. However, if you want, you can change the cable to a lighter, not as durable one. Depending on the mouse, some of these modifications, like replacing the cable, can affect your warranty. So, don't do this if you are unsure. For example, the cable on the M42 is really stiff and you can move the mouse just by pushing from it. This causes unnecessary drag since the cord can apply some force to the mouse mid-fight. To change the cord, you need to open the mouse. This means that usually you need to peel off the stock skates since the screws are hidden beneath them. It is possible to reuse the stock skates if you peel them off with patience and be really careful and use like extra heat and the lighter fluid and such but i usually just replace them with aftermarket ones after unscrewing the screws usually the mouse opens without much resistance be careful though since some mice have plastic clips that can break if you use too much force while opening it from here onwards the cable replacement is really straightforward you need to unscrew the pcb from the base plate and remove the stock cable. For our replacement, I use a cable from Zerg Gaming Mods. The cable is really lightweight and a lot more flexible than the old one. I also included their 3D printed stretch sleeve to save me from fiddling with heat shrink. And the whole product is flawless. So hit them up if you are looking for a quality paracord cable for your mouse. This is not an ad, this is a statement from a satisfied customer. Installing the cable is really easy. Just push the stress leaf in place and route the new cable properly. Then screw in the PCB and plug in the new cable. Then put the mouse back together. With the new cable, I don't have the same problems with the cord dragging and the cable is unnoticeable while in use. Whether you should replace the mouse gates really depend on the mouse. Some mice have really good stock fit nowadays, like Pulsar or Razer mice to name a few, but Logitech mouse fit belong to the trash. Reason for this is they are really thin and don't have rounded edges usually. This causes the mouse to feel kind of scratchy on some mousepad surfaces and the experience is so bad that it can ruin an otherwise perfect mouse for you. Usually you can get better glide with the aftermarket mouse feet and you can improve your experience with your mouse for really cheap. The most common mouse feet material are PTFE and nowadays also glass. Although the hype train around the glass feet has slowed down quite a bit, some users swear by them still. I myself used the super glides on my x Lite B2 Mini for a month and a half but recently I took them off. The experience with them was fast at first, then good and controllable for a bit, and then kinda inconsistent. Since the oleophobic coating wore off, they picked up all the grime and dirt and I felt like I need to clean my mouse pad every day to be able to play with them. Nowadays, there are a few companies that make glass gates and even Extrify launched their online recently, and the experience can vary between brands. I have only used the Pulsar Super Glides and honestly I need to try out other brands as well to give an opinion about the material as uh, mouse feet. PTFE feet are the most common type however and maybe the safest option to use. There are also multiple brands and types of PTFE skates around. The most popular ones are probably Corbett skates, Tiger Eyes and BTL skates. These are really similar products and offer a high quality glide with rounded edges and solid thicknesses. Tiger eyes are considered to be a bit faster than the rest, but in my experience I have not felt a significant difference between any of these. Usually I go with the BTL or Corbett since they include two sets in the package and for example Tiger eyes only have one set in the package for the same price. With the M42 the pick came to availability. Since this is a fairly old mouse, all I could find was the core pad, so I went with those. Before you install the new skates, make sure that there are no extra residue left from the old skates and wipe them clean with the cleaning wipes they include in the package. Just follow the instructions on the package and you will do fine. 
Deciding whether you should use grips on a mouse depends on a few factors. One, does your mouse feel slippery? Two, is it because you have sweaty hands or dry hands? And three, does your mouse have holes you wanna hide? And maybe four, if you like the look. Some mice have better coatings and some worse. For example, the GPX Superlight and the G303 Shroud Edition have really good coatings and to me feel better without grips. Like with the skates, there are a multitude of different grips to be found. There are corporate grips, lizard skins, hotline grips, BTL grips and some mice manufacturers have their own like Pulsar and Razer. For me and my sweaty hands the best have been the new Corbett grips. They feel and look the best with the thinner edges and they stay in place the best. Pulsar thin grips were a big no-no for me but they could be good for dry hands. Same with the BTL grips. They were somewhat slippery but could be good for dry hands. I would not advise on getting white grips for your mouse however, since they turn brownish in no time. However, it is up to you if you want your mouse to look like it came from your for this M42 I wanted to install the grips because the side holes were really annoying in use. I chose the hotline grips because I couldn't find any other grips for a reasonable price at the time. These are nothing special but they work and now the sides are hole free. So with these small mods I fixed all the issues I had with my M42 quite easily and I think it looks good as well. I hope you find this video helpful and let me know in the comments which kind of mods have you made to your mouse before. I also want to thank you for all the support I have been getting lately. That means a lot to me. So like and subscribe if you haven't already and see you on the next one. Goodbye.